As of last year, there were eight working solar farms in Cambridgeshire, like this one in Chittering. With another 23 in consideration on, under construction already, South Cambridgeshire is becoming known as the solar farm capital of the UK. But some people aren't so happy about this. They think that solar farms take up too much green belt land and also might not be able to meaningfully contribute to our energy needs. So with all that contention, how do solar farms actually work and how much energy are we getting from them? Harnessing the sun's energy is not a novel idea. Trees and plants have been doing it for hundreds of millions of years and algae even before that. Increasingly, energy firms are eyeing the possibility of converting the same energy directly to electricity. Most solar panels are made of silicon, the same stuff that computer chips are made from. Without light, the electrons in the panel don't have enough energy for an electric current to flow. But when photons of light hit the panel, the energy from the photons is transferred to the silicon's electrons, freeing them to flow across the panel and producing an electric current. The brighter the light, the more photons there are to release electrons. The more electrons there are, the higher the current, and the higher the current, the more power is produced.